Hey world, how you doing? Alright, I'm going to come back with another video with my T-Mobile G2. As we go ahead and power it up, you see this has the blank screen with HTC and the bright green letters as to do Mr. HTC stuff. Um, I don't, while this starts up, I'm going to show you. Whenever it opens up, it is very smooth. I really like the way it opens up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open it. And you see how it kind of opens... It goes up and over, but it does it so smooth you really can't tell unless you look at it. So that right there goes really smooth. I like that. And the flame, the screen does flip very well as well. It don't have a, that lag as the G1 had whenever I had that. So let's go ahead and shut it back over. And as you can tell, for it to load up and install your settings, it takes a little under a minute. Alright, now just like the Nexus 1, the home screen is the same. You just go ahead and press down, slide over for that. Now, I have not changed anything with the display as how the how it came, and except for the far left screen. I have downloaded a few apps, nothing too major, because I wanted to make this video, but still play around with it and see how well it works. Now, where I do live, I unfortunately do not have the HSPA Plus, but at work, I do get a little little bit of it, but it's not the HSPA Plus, it's just the HSPA, so it's a little bit faster than the 3G, but not the 4G speed. Now, the 2G, it comes with the 7 screens. This one right here is actually blank. I added the weather bug in my little note. So you got your one, two, three, four, which is your home, five, six, seven. Now, it does come with the Twitter and the Facebook right here, but I already signed in, so it has my information. This all is on there. This is your home. Now, let's go ahead and open up. Let me look. Like all the. Android add the Amazon MP3. Um, this does add the Google Earth to it. It comes pre-installed with the Facebook. Um, it has this right here. It's actually pretty neat on the finance. I'm not really in the stock market or anything, so I really won't need it. But it, you can actually go ahead and look at the market. You can set up your portfolios. So I thought that was pretty neat. Let's go back and look some more. It comes with Google Goggles already installed on it. It comes with Google Sky Map installed, Google Translate. The um, it comes with the Google Listen. I'm not really don't use it, so I didn't set that up. Um, the LED light, you have to download that from the market, but it is pretty pretty well. It works pretty well. So you just go in, you get a widget, and then you just turn it on, and it's your LED light. Yeah, it's pretty bright. It's so let's get back that out. Um, it came with a lot of things installed on it, but still had a good memory. Now, a thing that's really cool about this um, that they added, well, they added a few things, which is pretty neat. They got a photo bucket. You go ahead and um, let's open that up. I don't have a photo bucket account, but yes, I am going to add one. So when you come to your photo bucket, you, all the pictures you take on your phone, it will go to your photo bucket. And you got my albums that I don't have account. You can upload in your settings. And another thing that I like about this, because I was thinking about buying this app for school, but I haven't. You have Quick Office already installed. That's really, really great. If you don't know, it's kind of like an Android version of Microsoft Office. So it has the Word, the spreadsheet, the Quick Point, which is really don't use that much. I don't. And then the PowerPoint. It's really great for when I'm at school. And now, they have a new thing with the, the shopper. Yes, yeah, kind of like the barcode. You go ahead and you do an image scan. And it will like, it will scan a book or something. And then it will tell you information about it where you can buy it. It comes with the TTS service um, for the touch, the talk to speak already on here. So you don't have to download that. That's really great. Now, I'm still trying to understand, they have the Web2Go also. It's it's an internet browser, but 
it's a little bit different than the this the regular internet browser. So I don't know really where they're going with this, but it seem it seems like it's a little redundant to have both of them up here. All right, let's go in and back out of here. All right, another cool thing they added to here is whenever you open this, as you see down here, we got a silver button here, silver button here, silver button here. These are shortcut keys. I press that and then wait to launch something. I already do have stuff set to here, so I'll show you how it works. Um, I am a Texas Hold'em player, so I added my Texas home game to this. So go ahead and press the quick, my third quick button, and bow. It loads up my my app that I wanted to play. Go ahead and I got fantasy football, so I press this one. I got a bookmark, so it takes me to the bookmark and to the web page for my fantasy football league. And go back home. And, of course, most people up there are going to have Facebook on their first one. So, I got Facebook here. And, regular Facebook. So, it does come with Android 2.2 OS with it. Um, I like it. The screen, it's the same size as the Nexus One. It's a uh, 3.7. It did come with an 8 gigabyte SD card, but I have a 16, so I installed my 16 on here. I'm going to go down here and show you my about, the about phone. Let's look at it. Alright. Comes with the 2.2. Tells you my version, the build number, etc. The camera, it is, it is really great. It This phone comes with the 720p HD video. So whenever I record, I have high def recording. It comes with the 3.5mm stereo head jacks. And, like I stated in my other video, it is heavier than the Nexus One, but I did expect that for it sliding out. But, if you saw, see how the there's no lag here? Look there. Come up. Flip it up. No lag. It's great. I mean, there's a little one, but not too major. It's, it's really great. The battery, I noticed it did last me a good while while I was at work. I did charge it up all the way and now as you see I just got in the arms so I was at work for about five hours or so so it lasted me five hours and I was on it the whole time while I was at work and it just went into the arms so the battery is pretty good I do like that um another thing it does not come with the the mobile hotspot but of course as we know we would be able to download and get the hotspot on here so See, this has no mobile hotspot added on here. Um, and of course, it comes with the Bluetooth, and you can get on Wi-Fi. So, after inspecting this phone, I really, really enjoy it. I am happy that I did sell my Nexus One and bought this phone. It does everything the Nexus One does, and more, and it is smoother, it is faster. In the internet, it is faster. So, I do say it's a thumbs up for HSPA. I um, want to get the, I actually want to get an HSPA area so I can see how fast it really is. But around here, the HSPA around here is pretty fast. But I want to get an HSPA plus and see how fast it is. Because it's supposed to be faster than 4G. And 4G is pretty fast. So, I want to go ahead and just show you that see how great this phone is i suggest all who are thinking about buying it you should go ahead and get it it does come out next thursday so get it